In this video, I want to go through a CFA level one exam style question on the OAS or option adjusted spread. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question which I want us to have a go at a three year, 1000 euro, 5% annual coupon callable corporate bond is trading at a Z spread of 160 basis points. It is determined that the value of the call option expressed in basis points per year is 46 basis points. And the following benchmark spot rates are available. And we've got a set of three spot, spot rates. Now, this scenario is exactly the same as the one that I used in a previous video uh, where we use the Z spread to compute the value of this callable bond. But look at the question now. The price of an otherwise equal but non-callable bond is closest to. So we're not supposed to really price the bond from the scenario, but an equivalent bond without the um, call option attached. And for that, you're going to need the OAS or as the full name um, is the option adjusted spread. Now the option adjusted spread is going to be um, computed, let me take a different color, as the Z spread, something we already did in the previous question, minus option value. And you know, option value here is expressed in basis points at 46 BPS. So essentially, we're going to take 160 for the Z spread minus 46 BPS basis points for option value, thus arriving at a figure of 114 BPS basis points. Right, we're going to use this as an add-on factor to these spot rates for the purposes of discounting the cash flows on the instrument. Just like I, in the previous video, used the Z spread to do exactly that, add the Z spread of 1.6%, 160 basis points to every spot rate from the spot curve, um, from the benchmark spot curve, to discount cash flows. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but with a slightly lower add-on factor. Now, obviously, because we're going to be discounting using a um, slightly lower discount factor, we're going to get a higher result. And that's absolutely perfectly fine. And after we've done the discounting, I'm going to, you know, explore that notion a little bit more. So for now, option adjusted spread is defined like so. Let me also say that what the option adjusted spread allows us to do, so it allows us to value a bond, but in a way which is adjusted for option value. The um, option or option value. So let's get cracking. The thing we're going to do here, just like before, is set up a uh, schedule of cash flows. So I'm going to compute the PV, the present value of the instrument, and I'm going to take all the cash flows from the bond. So this is 5% annual coupon on a bond with a 1,000 euro nominal value. So first cash flow is 50, then there's going to be another cash flow also of 50. And then finally, a cash flow of 1050. So that's coupon plus uh, the recovery of nominal value or par value. And we're going to have discounting over here. And in the first instance of that first cash flow, the discount factor is going to be one plus whatever is the spot rate for one year. That's 2.19. So 0 0.0219, and now instead of adding the Z spread, which is what I did before, I'm going to add the option adjusted spread, or OAS. So that's going to be the 0 0.0114. We do the same thing over here, except 
for the fact that instead of using the one year spot rate, I'm going to utilize the two year spot rate, one plus 0 0.0305 plus, obviously that same 114 basis points. Uh, okay, that's, that's one zero too many. And this is going to be raised to the power of two. And for the third one, same procedure, one plus zero point zero three seven two. That's a zero. And add zero point zero one one four to it. Raise this to the power of three. Now let me once again emphasize or recall that in the previous video that I did, where we were actually supposed to value the callable bond, we used the Z spread. And that was a higher number over here, thus producing a higher denominator in the fractions or each of the fractions, and therefore leading to a lower present value. Now we're going to be discounting using these factors, and that's going to ultimately produce a higher present value. Because when you are supposed to value a bond as if it didn't contain a call option, you're always going to get a higher number. Recall that a call option works against the holder of the bond and in favor of the bond issuer. So a bond without any callable features is going to be priced higher than an equivalent bond with a call option attached. Let's get the numbers in from the calculator. So 50 divided by open bracket 1 plus 0 0.0219 and on top of this this 0 0.0114 close bracket plus the next 50 divided by open bracket 1 plus 0 0.0305 plus 0 point zero have to be careful here 114 close bracket square it and then this 1050 divided by, once again, open the bracket, 1 plus 0 0.0372 plus 0 0.0114 close bracket to the power of 3. Let's hit the equals key and I see an outcome or an answer of 1000 and five point well roughly 12 and if we check this against the answers or the potential possible answers to the to the problem we see that this corresponds very nicely with answer a so that's a brief question on the oas as you need to understand it from the point of view of valuing bonds we're going to use it especially in a situation where you're supposed to compute the value of a bond if it didn't have the call option built in. One way which uh, you can think about the OAS in relation to the set spread and the benchmark spot curve is as follows. If you plot the benchmark spot curve over here, i.e. this is a set of spot rates you would be using to discount cash flows, which are accordingly, you know, one year, two years, or three years away from today. This is the set of cash flow, sorry, the set of discount rates or rates you would use for discounting cash flows, typically on government securities. Now, when you have to um, perform the relevant discounting of cash flows, but coming from a um, risk, riskier instrument than a government one, you're going to use um, something like a Z spread. Now, a Z spread is basically an amount expressed in basis points, a spread expressed in basis points, which you would add to whatever is your benchmark spot curve to come up with a set of spot rates for discounting riskier instruments. So here, Z spread um, for this specific bond was 160 basis points. But for callable bonds or bonds with op built-in option features, you're also going to have an OAS. And an OAS in this case is going to be slightly smaller because it's also an amount that you need to add to whatever is the spot benchmark spot rate 
but it's not as severe as the Z spread. In this case, the OAS was just 114 basis points. And this produces for us a value or allows us to produce a value for an option-free or option-adjusted um, security.